Hello, 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 brothers. Peace be upon you all. I pray you guys are doing well. We're on day four of No Porn November. And the sad thing is that some of our brothers, quite a few, have already relapsed. You know, four days into the month. And man, it's sad, man. It's sad. I remember all the Novembers that I failed. You know, it is. There, be, there have been years worth. So, <laughs> yeah. You know, just a salute to our fallen brothers. You know? And the question is, I've relapsed, man. I've ruined the month. What do I do now? What, what now? What, what now? What do I... What do I do? And the first thing we have, I have to say, is do not binge. Okay? If you have relapsed already this month, do not binge. Don't say that this month is ruined. Don't say, oh, well, I'll start again on the 1st of December. No. No, no, no. Zero. Being back to day one, again, that's not an excuse to stay there. It's not a reason to, like, oh, well, yeah, I'll just, maybe I'll, I'll watch so many videos and do it so often that I'll get it out of my system. No such thing. No such thing. Trust me, I've tried it so many times. It doesn't exist. Like, the monster within us, that, that the lust monster that, that craves and desires pornography and masturbation, it doesn't go away by feeding it. You know, this it's not going to reach a, mo a moment where it's so full that it's like, ah, yeah, and I, now I'm done. Now I've had enough. Now I don't want any more. It doesn't exist. It, the hunger grows because we feed it. When you go a long enough period without it, that's gone. That feeling, those cravings, it's they aren't there anymore. The urges that you have are natural sexual urges. You know, you're not feeling like, oh yeah, I really need to go and load up a browser right now. That desire, it goes away when we starve it. That's the thing. Start again straight away. Don't, don't wait. Don't put it off. Don't say, oh yeah, well, start again in two days or three days. Start now. Okay? This, the same thing goes again. There's no excuse for a relapse. There's none. And if we have relapsed, there's no excuse to do it again. You know? If it was true of the first, it's true of the second. There's no reason to go back there. There's no such thing as starting again tomorrow. Right? Because I'll tell you, I've relapsed hundreds of times over the years. Over the years, it's been many years of me here trying to quit, you know? And I'll tell you how it goes. I'll say, well, yeah, okay. I started on the first, and, you know, I haven't made it a week. I've ruined this month. But then, you know, I'll, I would have some hope. I would tell myself, okay, yeah, I'll start again on... I'll start on Monday, right? That's, what, first of the week, right? I'll start again on Monday. Eh, Monday, I don't know about that. The date's a bit weird. I don't want to start on the 9th. What, what is the 9th? What is that? Let me start on the 10th, so I start on Tuesday. Then like, eh. Tuesday, though. Tuesday, that's a bit iffy. Mm, I don't, I don't know. I don't know about Tuesday, man. Maybe I'll start on Friday. Friday's good, you know. Then I have a clean weekend to give me a boost. Then the weekend is, ah, there's so much free time, I'm alone a lot, so I've relapsed on the weekend. It's like, okay, yeah, alright, halfway through the month, halfway of the month is gone. <sighs> then there's all this wrestling, mm, should I start this day, should I start that day? Then, oh wow, we're coming up on the first, oh, I'll, I'll start again on the first. <sighs> then I relapse two days later keeps going on, suddenly you know you're coming up and you're seeing, oh wow, yeah, it's New Year's, yeah, it's New Year's Eve right now, okay, they'll, they'll do one last, this is the last session, and I'll have a full clean year, that is, oh, then you relapse a few days into the new year, and we can continue on this cycle 
for years and years and years. It doesn't end until we say, I'm starting today. I don't care. I'm not. There's no need for any final session. None of it. There is no one last time. Because last time was the last time. And the time before that. And the time before that. They're always the last time. Until we decide. Until we commit to say, nope. I am genuinely done. It has never improved my life. It has never made me feel better. I've never gotten what I wanted from it. I'm done. You know, that's the only way that we can do it. Then once you've decided, okay, yep, yeah, okay, I relapsed. I take ownership of that. I relapsed, but I'm getting back on track today. I'm doing it now. I'm not waiting till tomorrow. I'm not postponing it. What? There's still a few hours left in the day. What am I going to do? And you ask yourself, what what was it that was wrong with my mindset? What what thoughts, what mistaken beliefs did I have that led me back here again? Was I did something stressful happen and I, I, I decided, okay, let me go back to it. But if, I, I can't do it when I'm distressed, you know, like I can't be successful when I'm distressed. Maybe what I'm going to need is maybe like a a two week or 30 day or 60 day streak you know and then I'll be able to deal with stress then I'll, I'll be in the right position you know so this is the wrong time to start or it's you know some some you know emotional event happened and you went back there or you saw some link or some meme or something on Instagram you're like ooh yeah I'm really triggered remember that we have the only way to do this is by being committed. And a commitment means you cut off everything that keeps you away from your goal. Whatever it is, you d you're deciding, I've given my word to this. I'm giving my word. I want to be free. I want to be clean. I want to reclaim my life. I want to have joy again. I want to have energy. I want to have time. I, s I mean, personally, like for me, when I was relapsing, that that could be easily six to eight hours of the day gone gone the time spent searching for the video and then ah this isn't the right one and then you know so all the multiple tabs opened up everywhere you know that's how it was you gained so much of your time back without it so remember you have to be committed and you're saying no matter what happens, what circumstances I'm in, what urge, what triggers, what emotions, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to do something else, something that's helpful, something that is healthy, something that's going to help me move forward. Dive straight back into recovery, you know. Contact people straight away, speak to people, relieve the shame. Tell them. Tell them your plan. Tell them what you're going to do. Ask for advice. What can I do to do, to be better? What can I do next time? What what can I do? I don't want to relapse again. I want to be free. What can I do to be free? Speak to other people. Ask for support. Search online. Read other people's success stories. Read books. Listen to podcasts. Watch YouTube videos. Whatever you can do to, to regain that knowledge. To gain the knowledge that's missing. That's really going to help you, inspire you to move forward and do better. And importantly, very importantly, you have to forgive yourself. Don't be, oh, I'm such a failure. I can't believe it. I was feeling so motivated at the beginning of this month. And now, you know, this is, this is November. Everyone, this, I mean, this is a global movement now. Everyone is like... And then, then fail. I don't. How's I don't want that next to my name, man. But no, you forgive yourself. You let go. You understand what the, the what emotional state that you were in that led to the relapse, and said, you know what? Yeah. Whichever emotional pain that you were trying to run away from, understand that many people relapse when they're in that moment. But you don't want to be that person anymore. So you let go of that. You let go of it. You say, I understand why I did what I did. But that isn't me anymore. I'm moving forward. I'm moving past that. I am. I can be so much better. I know that I can. That's why I feel this shame. That's why I feel this regret. Because I know I could have gone through that moment without relapsing. But it's okay. I forgive myself. I'm moving forward. I'm, I'm going to do things in my life. I'm going to make positive change to make sure I'm not in this position again. 
That's what we do. We get up again, brothers. We we keep we get up again, you know? People tell you stuff like relapsing is part of the journey. It's not. Relapsing destroys the journey. It makes it so much harder, you know? It makes it so so much harder. This that's why we, we say there's no excuse for a relapse. But if you have, okay. It's happened. You, none of us can change the past. We don't have a time machine. If we did, we'd go back to the day when our when our younger self finally found the, when we came across pornography or started to math and be like, "No, bro, stop this. I'm you from the future. This is all the, the bad things. These are all the negative effects, the consequences that are going to happen because of this. Do not do it." That's what we do if we had a time machine, but we don't. So we have to forgive ourselves so we can heal and move forward and make new, better decisions. The month is not over yet, brothers. The month is not over yet. It's the fourth, you know. Still 26 days left this month. You can add all of those to the, your new life. Your new life of freedom. So get up again. We can all do this, brothers. Peace.